A familiar scene at NASA's Kennedy Space Center. A shuttle crew wearing their orange spacesuits walk out to the silver bus that will carry them to the launch pad. A final wave goodbye from European Space Agency astronaut Roberto Vittori and his NASA crewmates. But this is only a dress rehearsal. The big day of launch still lies ahead. As ever, training is the key to this mission's success. A couple of weeks before liftoff, during what's known as the terminal countdown test, astronauts go through everything that will happen before blasting off for the International Space Station. A few days before this final test, the shuttle, in all its majesty, was rolled out from the Vehicle Assembly Building to its launch pad. An event which tugged at a few heartstrings. This is the 25th and last flight of Endeavour, as the shuttle program draws to a close after 30 years of operation. The wildlife around the launch pad remains oblivious to the goings-on inside the orbiter, as the astronauts rehearse countdown procedures. For Roberto Vittori, this is a unique opportunity to explore the shuttle. Both his previous flights to the International Space Station in 2002 and 2005 were made on board the Russian Soyuz capsule. Thank you. Is it like a dream come true for you to be here today? I have been training for about since 98 and uh, yes, it's very important finally to get uh, to this uh, space flight opportunity on the shuttle. Despite the weather, I'm very happy to be here today. First opportunity to fly on the shuttle and uh, I fly on this opportunity of the Italian Space Agency as astronaut of European Space Agency and uh, I look forward uh, to see AMS installed to the International Space Station. As the crew prepares for the mission, the precious payloads which Endeavour will carry to the International Space Station are installed in its cargo bay. Notably, the 8-ton Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer, or AMS. Vittori will be responsible for grabbing AMS with the shuttle's robotic arm, transferring it to the station. After attachment, the instrument will be used to analyze cosmic rays and observe dark matter, helping to unveil some of the mysteries of the universe. The Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer is going to be one of the premier, you know, science experiments of the 21st century, we hope. Um, you know, Hubble has shown uh, millions of people incredible pictures of, you know, not only our galaxy, but the universe. And we can learn a lot from those images. But what AMS is going to do is going to te teach us a lot about what, uh, you know, what we're seeing in those pictures, what, what's the makeup of the cosmos. And, you know, as a crew being involved with this experiment, we're, we're pretty excited about what the results are going to be. And AMS could be teaching us uh, things about the universe that are completely unexpected. As ESA and NASA work together yet again, preparing for the final endeavor of this long-serving spacecraft, there's no doubt that a new chapter is beginning for the Florida Space Coast, as the era of the mighty shuttle comes to an end. <laughs>